and welcome back to the episode of Yuri Kuba. Well, Love Bullet Yuri Kuba or Aisashi? I think Arashi Yuri Kuba. There's some Yuri, there are Kumas. Not much of a Love Bullet though. There's bullets, but not really much love bullets. Uh, I guess there's there's Yuri, there's bears, there's love, and there's bullets. I guess it is they are there. But yeah. Okay, oh. last time we had I guess an episode that is a bit different from the two before. Hopefully they are starting to do, you know, way less template, but and again, it's still quite template. Of the first and the second episode. Yeah, I don't know if I like these type of shows. Because I get it. It's supposed to mean something. It's supposed to, you know, invoke something. But I don't like it. Don't think I like this type of uh, very structured shows. Well, I'm fine with it being structured. But I don't like it being, you know, fucking... Hey, it's always a goddamn courtroom scene in the uh, mi middle of the episode. Deal with it type of uh, anim anime. If it's always like um, it's something like a Phoenix Wright's uh, game type of structure. Like oh, there's always a fucking murder at the beginning. Fucking somehow we find the goddamn uh, quote unquote culprit. That that's our defendant, and then we activities, and then we court, and activities and court until we get to the end. That's totally fine. It's just, uh, don't make every single court seem the same. But yeah, so no idea what's going on. So let's just continue, I guess, in three, two, one, go. Okay, it was quiet. So it's not how it that's supposed to be a spaceship. Bear Queen? Okay. That's different. Blue. What? Okay, at least that's different. We get our court scene at the beginning. So the court is how they transform into girls. I can't get a kiss. Mm. And yeah. Mm. I guess my wish for it being a bit less template is coming off. I guess it's not even template, it's just very fucking hell. It's just very rigid. Fucking hell, I'm getting fucking spam mill. Actually, who is singing the uh, opening? Yuri Kuma. Uh, that, that's a light novel for that. The fuck? What the fuck? Oh no, I don't want to know what that, how the fuck they describe that scene. Licking the flower. Opening Anno Mori de Materu by Bonjour, Bonjour, wait, what? Bonjour Suzuki. She have French. Eh. I don't know. Oh wait, what the fuck? Okay, so they're in bare forms. Ah oh, god, don't do that.
I stop wiggling this shit. Okay, good. Please, goddamn. Uh. Do it. Hmm. Okay, please fill us in what the fuck's going on. I don't even know what seated really means. <laughs> what? Okay, what the fuck's wrong with Shabra do? Is it just goddamn? Mm, okay. okay. A bear king? That is a different. Oh, that's from the beginning. The thing is, this is different from what the prologue told us. At least the first two episodes told us. Because if they had a whole society, the bears, that means it isn't just alien comes down, turns to bears, violent against humans, and then we build a, the species divide. What's with the bee? Oh, that's the red thing. All right. So okay. So the media, right? That what you're talking about? Sorry. That's a very long balcony. Servant code number two. And now you're not the crown princess anymore. <laughs> yep. The first boy inherits the crown. You may call that sexist, but it works better. You know why? More heirs. Well, possibly more heirs. Even if the heirs are not quite legitimate, still more heirs. Ah, that's a quick turn of tail. Wait. Is that? No. Okay, yeah. Sure, it's a turn of a coin, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Why the hell did that? Why is it just translate that to a woo woo? He already says sister or sis. Why does it trust the woo? <laughs> She's done with life. To be honest, this, this is what you get when you raise a child up thinking that they are the most special of all of you and then someday you just take it out. Take take it out from underneath them. <laughs> you used to believe it. Ernest and sure is gone. Innocence.
But don't fuck your brother. Please don't. Uh, no. By sending me. <sighs> Gonna send him in the fucking woods. <laughs> what the fuck? That is plain murder. I thought you you might, you know, be a bit more, be more, a bit more like you know, non-direct. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, he's resilient. It's honey? Gonna break his fucking essence. Hmm. It is not how you fucking raise a child. Another assassination attempt. Again, exactly the same plan. Come on. Oh. Sound pit this time. Okay. <clears throat> Never look away until the job is done. Or if <laughs> More honey? How the fuck did you find honey on the ground? The thing is, at this point, you might as well ma manipulate him into giving his fucking crown to you. And he's back. You have heat suits? How the fuck did you find honey in the fucking volcano? Hmm. Hmm. What happens? <laughs> All the murder attempts didn't work just to fuck up. Actual accident. <sighs> okay. They have a treasure house. Ah, promise kiss. Oh well. Eat. Creepy. Okay. 
the door level was left open. That's breaking in. Yes. Could have rang the fucking doorbell. Mm. Well, how did that? <laughs> Tried to eat her in the first two episodes, and last episode you claimed friendship, I guess. And it all fucking drew you were licking her. I guess. But that's odd. Until... Okay. Elsa Herter. Hmm. Okay, so you guys are supposed to be the princess? To come for the economy? Is that be supposed to be your actual true intentions? Well, you're actually a boy? <laughs> you, were, you were just a tomboy. Or Tom girl? Whichever way it goes first. <laughs> oh yeah. It's never really uh like, getting what you want, that first hit of dopamine, sure it's great, but after you got what you, what you want, and you don't want more, it's not very much. I'm sure you're not listening. How did you not grow any taller at the time? It's, uh, that's a dream, yeah. Um. Wizard? Is that supposed to be a weapon? Hmm. Oh, it's her. Hmm? Want that princess or what? Or is she supposed to be a prince candidate? Hmm? Okay. Oh, a bee stuck. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, that's called siblings. But most of the time, the detesting does not go to fucking killing. Oh yeah, you broke into her house. I think we're gonna show you her house first. Well, I guess at the time. Yeah, emotional damage. Okay. So how old are you guys? Oh wait, you're Lulu and... Okay. How old are you guys? So there is already a fucking species divide. Wait, wait, isn't this supposed to be before the species divide? Parallels. So what's this supposed to be fucking be, f be before or after? What the fuck? Of committers and Mm. So they are not really the ones who grant human form because they are human form before, but what the fuck is the point of this then? So what's the point of human certification? Like since it looks like they had a human for before. So is this just to get them inside of human? Oh wait, I guess maybe complete human form since they have, you know, the humanoid form, but not a human form. Now, this is the very much needed fucking, uh... This was a very much needed episode. Now we actually know what the fuck the show is, you know? The goal is. Hold on, go- oh, yeah. He's dead already. Yeah, this fucking episode's very much needed. We finally got... What the fuck the anime is about? Fucking four episodes in. This is a 12 episode show. We're one third in. Yeah, I, I think I will get why if somebody says I don't like the show and they only seen like one or two episodes, which most time is 
understandable to already be forming an opinion about the show, which doesn't mean you have an opinion about the whole show. You also should always should kind of insin- insinuate that you've only seen a few episodes of it. But it's un- it's it's understandable why you wouldn't like it. Now that is what you fucking want. This was completely different from the other three episodes. Yeah, we like from the other three episodes we get it's a, it's gonna it's about love. It's about human fucking bears. But now this is now an episode that actually does shit. There we go. Was it really that hard to do it? Uh, also, so I guess the lore is that humans and bears evolved at, at the same time. One of them, uh, yeah, uh, they they lived at the same time. I mean, Milam is fucking Kaguya from Gintama. And happy? Are we happy? Is Kaguya from Gintama? Ah. Well, yeah. Again, as I said, it's uh, it's very much new. We now got on the whole fucking what actually is happening. Uh, what's actually happening with you know fucking the other two thirds of our of the main cast. Now that's important. Instead of you know, this could and this maybe should have been the third or the second episode. The first episode with Kuha was fine, but the second and the third episode wasn't really. It was freaking boring. If you had this as a second episode or third episode, uh, yeah, no, it, it just feels like there's an actual good reason for them to be here. Sure, you but uh, but you might say, oh no, then the mystery of the fake out of fucking you know they want to eat her, wouldn't be. But then again, isn't really that fucking important right now? They they're fucking they're they were doing a one eighty from how the fuck they were introduced and how they were presented. Like, was it is it really that much of a fake out really? What I, what I really see right he, right now, right here, is just... Mm. Uh, I want to eat you, I want to eat you all. Quite cool now. I can't, the whole... Yeah. I don't know, I don't think... Not the best, but yeah, at least we got something now. So... Yeah. For the rest... Not much else, I guess. Yeah. The only really obviously just she is not looking really looking for Kuha, but for her mother, and that's maybe she's trying to do it, you know, by proxy. Also I just noticed. Kuha isn't even in the mi- middle of the uh, of the poster of the tree. Well it's it is the middle of the tree when you go to the manga, I guess, and the yeah, the line of what has her in the middle as well. But not the anime. The anime has Ginkgo. Hmm. I feel that it would make more sense to have Kuha in the middle and Ginkgo on the right. Since her bear form is there. Oh well. Well, either way. I guess, uh... That's it. Not really much else to talk about. So yeah, with that said, that's it for episode of Yurikuma Arashi. No, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. And here are the people who decided to sell out their souls. <laughs> Welcome to hell.